wait, I got rings. No, what are you doing? Why'd you go on the one with the rings? Ah. Oh, God damn it! So, um... Gosh, dang it, God dang it, Bobby, I must tell you what. I'm gonna fuck that ass. I fuck propane in the anus. Anyway, so, um... Yeah, okay, so... So, I'm not gonna use names, but, um... So, we go to Applebee's a lot. Like, an unhealthy amount of times we go to Applebee's. Yes. Like... Yo, I fucking like Applebee's, but now I love Applebee's. I'm gonna tell you why, kids. So, fucking... We started a war between uh, waiters and waitresses. What? No, I see what I'm supposed to do. Now. Sorry. Okay. Between waiters and waitresses because we started to get friendly with some of them. And one of them's a really cool dude, and two of them are cool females. One of them's a lot cooler than the other. She's got huge tits, and she likes me a lot, and she's really mean. So that's why Applebee's is the best, because we can create a war inside Applebee's. I can't do that shit at Chili's. No, you can't. Wait, how'd you create a war? Because we're like, you're the best, and then like, we became their friend, and then the other person was like, yo, that person's not the best, I'm the best. I'm like, oh yeah, well, if you're the best, then you gotta join the war. And then that person's like, oh, you can't have those two in the war because then I'm already winning this war. So then they're all like, going at each other's throat to see who we like the most. Yeah. It's great. It's wonderful. It's pretty fantastic. Oh, I'm in an Oh boy, this is the first time we've gotten the music for it, too. Oh, it doesn't kill things. Oh boy. <laughs> Wait. So you just can't get hurt. Yeah. yeah. Boom! Oh damn! That boy gonna fly. Did you just like Debo the shit out of him? I think so. Debo, please. Debo, Debo's a character from the movie Friday, and he's just a big black guy who just beat people up for the fuck of it. So literally, at one point, everyone's hiding their jewelry. He grips all the way up by his collar, slams on the ground, and takes his watch because he forgot to hide it. Tim, the only word I understood in that uh, was watch. <laughs> <laughs> he. Grabs dude by the collar of his shirt, picks him up off his feet with one hand, slams him into the ground, and hurts him, and then proceeds to steal his watch and walk away from him. Okay, very good. Thank you for the translation. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't understand you were using names and stuff. I've never seen Friday. I'm white. No one's seen it. Nothing makes me more upset. The one time oh, yeah. like, that's not even like that's not no, even no, like a bash no, on. No, 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 I understand. Yeah. No, I made a reference to it, and Sean and the fucking Dylan start singing Friday because they think that's what I'm referencing. Sean, you're better than that. Not back then. Apparently, <laughs> 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 uh, she made a song called Savage. She did. She's actually getting better. Really? What? Apparently, it's not half bad. Yeah. What? Nice. Have she learned. I have heard the song. If it if it's better, I'll Yo, be impressed. You know Selena Gomez? Yeah. Yeah. Kmart brand clothes. <laughs> no, my she has just, a brand of clothes. That my brother just really likes Kmart. her music, and I don't get it. You guys like Selena Gomez's music? Mm. I don't listen to Never her. really listened to it. I just know her from Wizards of Waverly Place. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna say, I thought she was she's an actor. She's attractive and she's got a... I don't know, dude. She has, like, six-year-old hey. girl face. She has six-year-old girl face. No, she's not six-year-old girl. She's got six-year-old girl face, dude. And I can't get it up for a girl who's got six-year-old girl face. You know what I'm saying? No, no are you kidding me? If Selena Gomez came around here, she's like, Mark, I want you to fuck me around this table. I'll be like, bitch, can't you see I'm playing Sonic 06? <laughs> and then she sits in the corner, she's like, oh, wait. I was like, god damn it, you'll wait, because I'm watching Power Rangers after this shit. <laughs> and I was, I'm like... Would you really, Mark? I would. I don't think you realize. One, for the sense of, for, for the fact that I could say I did that. And <laughs> two, because I don't think you realize there are very few people where I would stop doing something with my friends or Power Rangers to, to do stuff with them. Like, if, like, fucking, oh, pick, pick, I don't know, actresses, pick an actress who's relevant. Um, yeah, I got one. Okay. Scarlett Johansson. Okay, well, that's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> I say, if I'm playing here and Scarlett Johansson comes and she's like, Mark, I want you to fuck me right now, I'd be like, I'll never go, guys, see you later. And I'd, like, freaking burst through the ceiling. And he'd be like, Mark's a Transformer. And I would actually be a Transformer in that moment. And I'd be like, dum, 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 and I'd turn back, and my transformation would be back into me. And then I'd bang Scar Joe right here. But you guys would have to watch. I'd force you to watch. Clockwork Orange style. I'd be okay with this. 
Not for you, Mark. I was Sorry. saying, Sean <laughs> is, I now have canonical, this is recorded, Sean would jerk off to me banging Scar Joe, yes. <laughs> I have, see, <laughs> as soon as you <laughs> say Scar say that, Joe. See, he didn't say that much. Yeah, Sean will look at my dick. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I won't be looking at my dick. <laughs> Guess where it's gonna be going? Any place you wanna look, Sean. <laughs> You're just gonna watch my eyes and just. Well, I thought you looking at the tits. Going. Well, now I'm fucking oh, looking at the ass. Now I'm, I'm trying to. Oh, stop it, Mark. <laughs> Gotta go fast. <laughs> Gotta go fast. I was just gonna say, be careful with that press start. You don't want to press start back to start over. What? You yeah, don't. I know. Okay. Because it'll also burn a light. Now let's say Ariana Grande comes in with her stupid fucking voice. And she's oh, like, no. she's like, hello, I'm Ariana Grande. I can't do her voice. <laughs> but she's like, will you fuck me, Mark? I'd be like, bitch, Victorious wasn't nearly as good as I, Carly. Get out of here. <laughs> no, I, no, I was, think it was just as good personally. Hey, that was good. Not as good as I, Carly. If Jeanette McCurdy came in here, I'd be like, Jeanette, please, I'm sorry. Jeanette I'm playing. and Sam? Yes. Yeah. I'd be like, Sam was awesome. I'd yeah. be like, Jeanette, please, I'm playing Sonic 06. Give me five minutes. She'd like, nope. <laughs> She'd beat the crap out no, of me. No, she, she'd take out the butter sock and she'd beat the <laughs> shit out of me with it. And then I would come like to that. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Jeanette McCurdy is sexy. And that's the only reason why I've even watched uh, Sam and Cat babysitting service. Was- uh, it is sustenance, as a great man once <laughs> said. Okay. Yeah, yeah, like I'll watch it. It's not like it's not bad. Carly mm-hmm. or Victoria. Oh no, it's not Drake and Josh. It's not. Oh, oh, Drake, Drake, and oh. oh. Drake and Josh is the best. It's not Zoe 101. <laughs> like first, first of all, I love Keenan and Kel. Oh, oh my God, have you seen that uh, Keenan? Uh, Keenan? No, no, not Keenan. Uh, Kel. Kel just did a song with like, with like. LL Cool J about Orange Soda together. It's really shitty because it's not like an actual song. It's just them like saying like I like Orange Soda together, but like that's real. That really happened. Went into the volcano. Yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah. Like a boss. Anyway, so are you Speaking in the future again? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So that believe, means we're coming towards the end. I believe this yeah. is. I believe this is Shadow. Uh, Shadow. Silver. Wait. Spot. So is nice. he gonna fight the big forearm or is he gonna fight Dancing Worm? Big forearm thing. Okay, cool. And you do not fight dancing warm as silver. Nice. Good. He's just dance. He's dance. Yo, um, so, yeah, no. You fucking, you fucking have goddamn Victoria Justice come in. She's like, Mark, I want to have sex with you. I'll say, no, but you can have sex with my brother because he loves you and he finds you very attractive. And she'd say, okay. And then I go like, so he's not the same as Mark, but you know what? She'll be like, I can pretend. And my brother would be like, thanks. And I'll be like, <laughs> whenever something good happens, I just want the sonic music to. Do you want to be followed by the shitty, like, his his world? Like, no, 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 no. I'm talking like. I'll actually say, like, that. That is the only redeemable thing in this game. Uh, false. Oh, God, what I did. You can't light these up, you can only break them, I think. You must live in the darkness. So now, um... I think you're just supposed to stand on it and Uh, jump off it. Jump on it. Okay, so, um, what was I gonna say? God damn it. I forget what I was gonna say. Victoria Justice. Oh. No, not Victoria Justice. Oh, it's a lantern. Didn't I even do anything special? No. no. <laughs> I just put it okay, go that way. Go that way. The floating platforms. You see what I mean? Uh, Jump. Oh, just go back. Oh, there. I think I see it. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah I yeah. can see this without them. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, what was I saying again? Damn it. I'm Victoria forgetting. Justice. No, 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 Sonic we, music. The only redeeming quality. The only redeeming quality of this game. Thank you, Sam. I'm not talking about Jeanette McCurdy, am I right? No, but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, I wish I was talking about Jeanette. Jeanette McCurdy was like, hey, Mark, it's about this. I'd be like, God damn it, where'd you come from? And why aren't we having sex right now? And she'd be like, restraining order, butter sock, in that order. I'd be like, no, please. No, please butter probably, sock me before probably, this. Yeah, it would probably be butter sock, restraining order, butter sock again. <laughs> And then she'd be like, maybe I'll let you take me on a couple of days. I'm like, yeah, in this way. <laughs> but you're going to be repeatedly hit by the butter sock. In her free time, she also plays Sonic 06. <laughs> She's like, I love Sonic 06. I'm like, I don't think this is going to work. <laughs> She's like, only because it's so shit. I was like, in this way. Okay, no, but seriously, redeeming. No, oh, she'd be like, she'd be like and nubs think it's great. <laughs> 
Oh, if she said nubs, that would actually be a turn off for me. I hate when she says it in the show. She does say it. A lot. I know. But I hate that because it's just like, let's be hip and cool. Cheated. Nice. Fuck the system. You know, I've been wondering why you've been doing that this entire time. Now I understand. Cheated. What? Cheated. So I've been bullshit to begin with. Sorry about that. Oh, well, this yeah. game is bullshit to begin with, so... Yeah, this game is Brontosaurus dick! And I'm not... Wow, that's a hell of a compliment. <laughs> no, dude. Brontosaurus dicks were gross and scary. Are you fucking kidding me? Exactly, that's a hell of a compliment for this game. No! <laughs> yeah. It's also BS. Oh, no, that's Brontosaurus scrotum. We're just Brontosaurus, if you want to cut it into two words. I love that fucking dinosaur. Even though it's like, I don't know. Which is the one that doesn't exist? Um, I think Brontosaurus doesn't exist. The real thing is Brachiosaurus. Stegosaurus? Mm-hmm. No, Stegosaurus is real. Yeah, uh, I was gonna say, because Brontosaurus could not have actually held their heads up as high as we thought they could. Really? Which is why, like, some scenes in Jurassic Park couldn't have happened. Also, it turns out dinosaurs had feathers and were probably fuzzy looking. What? Are you yeah. serious? Because they're just fucking big birds, really. Which is kind of depressing. Like pterodactyls? Yeah. Well, pterodactyls are actually, like, really close to being big birds, but I mean, like, fucking picture T-Rex has got some fuzzle, like... Remember the, uh, raptors that had, like, the uh, feathers on their arms and on their head? Yes. They were in Jurassic Park 3. That's kind of what dinosaurs would look like more. They'd have more feathers on them. Not like they'd be covered, but they would have feathers on them. I knew you didn't mean they'd be covered. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they would have fuzzles. 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 So, fun fact, we've been going for an hour and 15 minutes. Nice, an hour and 15 nice. minutes, and we talked about Danny Phantom and girls I would bang and would break my concentration. And Sean would watch him. Yes, and Sean would watch me. This has been a yeah. successful <laughs> evening. Oh, dude, look at this big gray gargoyle son of a bitch. Drake and Josh. Oh, yeah, Drake I and Josh. Okay. Drake and Josh. Oh, Josh. my okay. girl. Your girl? My girl, Allison Scagliotti. Sk Allison Scagliotti? Yeah, Mindy. Oh, I was gonna. I was. I, I thought you were talking about so Miranda Cosgrove for a second. No, like, God, 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 I mean, maybe not like Harley, but that's even that's pushing. No, no. Wait, 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 wait. Sca Who was she in the Mindy show? was She's Josh's. Mindy. Mindy Crenshaw. Arch nemesis. Or no, Drake's oh, arch nemesis. Yeah, no, it was no. both face, and then Josh dated her. No, but Drake dated her. No, Josh did because they yeah. was afraid that Drake's head would explode, and in the fantasy, explode into like a green goop, and I was really confused <laughs> by that. Was that the one where? What about the one with the science project where they were? Confused? That was also Mindy. Yes, yeah, yeah. Oh shit, look at that big fetus monster. I'm sure we'll have nothing to do with it. I'm sure. Anyway, um, what was it saying? Oh yeah. How great, did you guys see the iCarly episode where they went to like WebCon, which wasn't Comic Con at all, and Jack Black was in the episode? And it was just really cool because Jack Black and Miranda Cosgrove, like, Hadn't seen each other in a really long time, and Jack Black was the guy who started her career. Because yeah. of school? Really? Yeah, School of Rock. No way. Yeah. yeah. That I remember when Drake and Josh first started, they'd say, and School of Rock's Miranda Cosgrove. And now everyone goes, and iCarly's Miranda Cosgrove. But Jack Black started her career, so it was really cool to see them interact again. Awesome. Granted, they were both much older, and Jack Black didn't look much different. <laughs> oh, Jack Black's the man. We just see Shockwave. No. Shockwave. I just don't care because I can just pick up rings. I don't know. You gotta go touch the fetus. That's what I'm gonna do. Touch the body. You don't have to tell me. Dude. In reality, all butts want to be touched. The ring wants to be touched. <laughs> Frodo, you must return the butt to its master. It wants to be touched. It's to return. It's my precious. <laughs> Smeagol's just in his cave feeling a butt that's on the floor. <laughs> yes, the buttocks is. It feels so good! Oh, yes! <laughs> and then Gollum's like, No! The buttocks does not feel good! We're tits, guys! Am I supposed to touch Doom Power or something, or am I actually supposed to touch? I was just supposed to use my power, right? Yeah, uh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> no, no, we are ass people, precious! <laughs> He's like, no! Titties are where it's at! Go on! Go on! You do those voices far too bad. I know. Oh, dude. Like, it's creepy good. Yeah. Dude, I fucking love doing voices. Oh, so I, I was doing my Joey Wheeler voice at my friend's house, 
and like she didn't know that I could do voices and stuff. I was just cracking everyone. I was like, "Hey, fuck you! It's time for my baby Drake." And I love Joey. He's the best. Yeah. And then they were talking about this how the scariest face he ever put. <laughs> oh, <yeah. Joey. laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> so my friend Jess was like. <laughs> Has a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh statues, and she's uh, which are really cool. And she refuses to get a Genocho one. Genocho? That, that's his Japanese name, I think. Oh, or, yeah. I would say because the statue isn't just called Genocho; it's called Yugi's best friend Genocho. <laughs> <She's> <laughs> Is that like, the only reason she won't get it? She's like, no, I'm not getting it. <laughs> Yugi's. It's just they had to specify it's Yugi's best friend. It's so funny. You remember that time? Okay. Not close enough to the wall. Remember that, good to know. It. Remember that time in Battle City where it was a really good story arc and but then they interrupted it with the video game? Yeah. It was silly. It was stupid. And then they just jumped back know. in like nothing. And then happened. Jinzo's like, say goodbye to your face down car. <laughs> this is wearing a trench coat. Yeah. Have I ever, have ever showed you guys Ritz Bits videos? Wow. He does like a kind of YouTube poop thing. But he use but he the stuff he uses is mainly '90s X-Men, '90s Spider-Man, and Yu-Gi-Oh, <laughs> with some Code Geass and some like other Spider-Man cartoon shows. He it I mean that stuff was the funniest shit ever in high school. But there's one where he has Jinzo. He goes, "Say goodbye to your face," <laughs> and then he's like, "You violated Mokuba, so you could become Kavakov's cat." <laughs> it's so goddamn funny. And he hasn't uploaded a video in years. It makes me so sad. So. Do you I, gotta go to the springs, do I right? Do I, do I, what? Yeah, sprint. No, hold on. Okay. Go back here. Now look, look back. See those spikes? Do they have springs? I don't know. I think they do. Do they? I think they do. Oh, well, we're shit. Going. Yep, I see a spring. I should have. Oh, I'm gonna die. No, oh, yep. Because I, I got. Why did you second guess yourself? You hesitated, but why? Because that's what I always do. Sean, I remember this one time I hesitated, yeah. and I hesitated to put on a condom, and I never did. And now I have three kids, and I hate <laughs> them. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Billy, Jimmy, and Sally. This piece of shit. Is that swipe from these under? Oh, uh, this is under Janet. Jeanette McCurdy. Oh, no, not Jeanette. <laughs> Just Janet, that dirty whore. Cheating on me with Deuce Bigelow, European Gigolo. <laughs> Rob Schneider. Can you imagine losing your wife to Rob Schneider? Is <laughs> of fun. all people, he's like, I was in. I'm, I'm I sorry, was, I, I, I I've had sex with another actor. Who was it? Rob Schneider. Oh my god! If I got really? Jeanette McCurdy and then she <laughs> cheated on me with Rob Schneider, I'd be like, listen, if you were to bang anyone from the original Judge Dredd movie, why did it have to be Rob Schneider? <laughs> why couldn't it have been Sylvester Stallone? I knew you said it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Oh, I fucking love you. Oh, dude. They were, how was Dread actually? Dread was so good. It was really good. Even if there was a part where a dude's dick was implied eaten off in a fantasy sequence. You were scared. Okay, because there's this lady played by, uh, no, she was played by, um, fucking... So, are you expecting me to just leave that comic going now? No, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain it right now. So there's this lady okay, so played... Okay, I'm legitimate pain right now. Played by, what's her fucking name? From oh, yes, I love her. Shut up! <laughs> what's her fucking name was so good in that um, movie? What's no, God damn it, I just <laughs> hate it! Shut up! Oh, uh, 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 Jamie Lannister and his stupid goddamn sister. Jamie Lannister and... Oh. God damn it. No! Oh. Anyway, Jamie Lannister's sister, the actress who plays her, because I'm blanking right now, my brother would be ashamed of myself. Here, I'll look it up. Uh, no, it's okay. okay. When you look it up, I'm gonna get real mad at myself. Anyway. Um, so, she was a prostitute or something, and then she eventually became a warlord, or like a crime lord, but she ate a dude's Just as I expected. She ate a dude's dick who tried to rape her. And then this black guy is like, Yo, I know this shit, I'm not gonna tell you guys nothing. And then the psych the girl who has psychic powers in dread, she's like, Yo, I'm gonna read your mind. And he's like, Yo, it's my mind, I'm gonna rape you in my mind. And she's like, Oh yeah, well I can control the mind too. And she turns into the girl who eats dicks and she eats his dick. What? So that's that's why his dick was eating. So well it was only in his mind, his dick wasn't actually. But he did pee himself. Yes, he did. Kerosene land is dead. 
Cersei Lannister. Thank you. Fucking shit. My brother's gonna be so mad at me. Ooh, did you tell the show in this video? No. <laughs> he just be like, you're talking about dick scan eating. You can't even get Cersei Lannister. <laughs> I was like, no, Paul. Would that really be his reaction? Yeah.